long hair. Black and white. Brown and yellow and red. All want to go back to the long hair. They wanted to get the afro, afros back out. Back out. It's, 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 it looked mighty foolish. A black man hair is not even made for a ponytail. It's not made for it. A black man hair is not made to be pulled back and put a rubber band in it. That's just the truth of it. A black man hair is not designed for it. So imagine how foolish she looked when he's trying to do it. And if he can do it right, do it? what he do? He do like his white brother. He tried to get his hair like his white brother. So he get a modern type of conk in his hair. See, years ago, when they conked their hair in the 20s, they used white potatoes and lye and something else. Mm -hmm. And you wash that stuff out before your hair ignited in flame. That's right. That's but right. when you pressed it down, right. <laughs> when you pressed it down, yeah. you had your waves. That's right. You know, but well, underneath the waves was the original stuff. See, see, underneath the waves, you saw your real hair like. <laughs> <laughs> it was underneath the waves. See, right. <laughs> glory to God, the waves <laughs> were just a cover up, you know. But underneath the waves, you saw the real you just standing there. <laughs> but on top of that, it was just you knew that wasn't you. Amen. Become ashamed. That's right. So in the 1960s, African awareness ignited. <laughs> and many ceased to be ashamed with the way God made them. Yep. Media come along and promote people to be ashamed of themselves now more than ever. Whether they're black, white, yellow, or red. Mm -hmm. Hate the way they look. Seems like every ethnic group trying to cross over and look like the other. Yeah. Whoever don't have lips, they go buy some. <laughs> or go get surgery to make some. Mm -hmm. And look a liver lip mess. <laughs> some get them too large, some get them too <laughs> small. Too large. Some got too much mouth. <laughs> too much of it. It's just terrible. Amen. Celebrities look like animals. They've been cut up so much. That's true. Look like animals. That's right. Put cheekbones where it don't belong. You oh. can't even see the eyes. That's right. Look like animals. animals. Amen. Love the way God made you. Don't be ashamed of holiness. That's right. Don't be ashamed of it. Because the bottom line is, at the end of your lifetime, Amen. all you got to reach out at is holiness. Amen. Your beauty ain't going to keep you around. All of your plastic surgery going to melt. Huh. Listen, when you go in the grave, them breast implants don't stay there. No. They burst. Kapoop. That's right. Ah, That's right. Your grave is a silicon mess. <laughs> yes, it is. Amen. You got silicon in your lips, your lips burst. Don't burst it. It'll be right in the ground. <laughs> That's right. Lips all <laughs> lips all deflated. So when they put you out on the ground, if they put any air in you, amen. Uh, <laughs> for people to walk by and look at your, you know, inflatism. You, you, you soon will spring a leak. You'll spring a leak. You're going to drip and drab all in the ground. That's right. Your breast implant won't help you. Won't help you, now. A mole will eat through your casket and start gnawing on your body. Amen. And your breast going to pop and probably scare me. you run, but <laughs> you're going to understand. That's right. People now spend hundreds of thousands of dollars in their mind trying to stay young. That's right. Take care of yourself of the truth. But all them faking plans and trying to get a behind because you don't have one and 
trying to get breasts because you don't have enough and trying to get lips because you don't like yours. Like yours. All that crazy stuff. I'm telling you. <laughs> right. You're going to go back to the way God made you. Amen. I remember my oldest brother, Tony. You know, I used to always talk all type of crazy stuff. I don't know how true it was, but he said one day, I think he was coming from work and there was a woman who had fake hips and was switching astronomically, walking <laughs> across the street, and but her hip flew off. Mm. And uh, a car ran over it. Lord. And she was running in the street trying to catch her hip, but every time she reached for it, cars were hit it. <coughs> and he said the last car that hit it, the hip got caught up on it and drug her hip away. So I... I don't know how true it is. <laughs> Love the way God made you. That's right. To be inspired by Hollywood, it ain't nothing there deserving of inspiration. Amen. Nothing. Amen. Ain't nothing over there deserving mm. of inspiration. Amen. Listen. Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words... In this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed. I'm not ashamed of God. That's right. Not at all. Amen. Why would I be ashamed of him to have the power of hell and earth? Oh, no. Hmm. I ain't ashamed of him. No, no. Mm-mm. Oh, no. Respect him. Uphold God's way. Right. Now understand something. Holiness also challenges one level of maturity. Because when people don't understand God's way, they have a tendency of reacting towards you in a crazy way. Whether Amen. it's through mockery or jealousy or whatever, or they ask you why you always got to wear dresses or, you know, why you ain't out here half naked and all that, why you got something on your head and all that type of stuff. It's something. Because if you're a Muslim, they don't ask. No, they don't. Nope. If you're a Jew... They don't ask. Yeah. Because those two religions the world is familiar with. Right. So therefore, when you say I'm not a Muslim or you know, I am my religion is not Judaism. So therefore, one like, oh wow, really? Hmm. And there's other religions that also believe in covering their head, but you look at some young people that are Amish, I see many of them. And they ain't ashamed. No. They're not ashamed at all. Don't ever be ashamed of pleasing God. That's right. Holiness is designed for one to please God. Mm -hmm. Don't ever be ashamed mm -hmm. of pleasing God. Don't ever be embarrassed because you're trying to please God. You know, if a fellow gonna stop talking to you because you're trying to please God, then he got another agenda anyway. Anyway. A girl going to stop talking to you because you're trying to please God. She got another agenda. Amen. It's that simple. You ain't lost nothing. That's right. God must be the top priority. And you must understand that the Lord must be the most important one in your life. That's right. He's more important than a dollar or anything else. Mm -hmm. All money you lose. Husband die, wife die, children die. God, that lasts throughout eternity. Amen. And when people realize this and understand this and prioritize, don't ever be embarrassed about God. That's right. Do you hear what Jesus said? Whosoever therefore, Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed, shall be ashamed of, me of me and of my words. And of my words. In this adulterous and sinful generation. And this mad generation. Of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed. I'm not ashamed of God. No. And the television viewers know it. That's why they say I'm crazy. <laughs> That's right. I'm not ashamed of nothing God said. Even what I don't feel like doing. I ain't ashamed of what God said. Right. I got sense enough to know God's mind is better than mine. That's right. Don't be ashamed of holding this on your job. Don't be ashamed to tell the folk what your stand is and what God word believe, what you believe. That's right. Don't be ashamed. Mm -hmm. Well, why you don't want to participate in the Christmas party? Come on. And you downplay it. Well, well, well you know. If they knew they wouldn't.